Hey everybody out there in YouTube model land. How y'all doing today? Hey Papa Dan here. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been working on since I put up my first video. It was at Hobby Lobby well, a couple days after I put up that video. Still hadn't gotten in my models from uh, eBay yet. So I was just looking for something quick to build and practice on. And I picked up this 52 Chevy Fastback. Now what I didn't know at the time that I bought it, or I just didn't realize, is that it's a 132nd scale. And having been a while since I built models, I had forgotten how small a 132nd scale model is. Well anyways, I figured out ah, what the heck. Something to practice on. So let me show you what I got here. This is what I came up with. No, not bad. I mean, my first attempt at uh, the bare metal foil. And yeah, I kind of boogered it up in a couple of places, but overall I don't think it's too bad for a first attempt. I mean, I definitely know what to do the next time. So I was kind of happy with the with the way the hood ornament came out. If I can get it to focus there. But in the process of building it, I made one big major goof that I'm hiding with my thumb here. <laughs> but I'll show you. I put the front bumper on upside down. If you compare it to the back bumper. But anyways, it's all fun. It's all good. You know, it's like Rusty said in one of his videos. I'll keep it. I didn't even try to change it. I just laughed at myself and said, you know what? Th this will just remind me where I came from. And then uh, we'll, we'll have something to, to look back on and laugh at. So I was happy with the way the paint came out. Uh, the paint laid down real smooth and looked good and everything. Now I'm, I'm still not happy with the shine that I'm getting. It's, uh, it's the Apple Barrels paint, uh, the gloss green that I used, and I mixed it 50-50 with the mop and shine like Chris Chapman uses and then I use the LA awesome mop and shine for the clear but I'm just not sure if I didn't put enough clear on it or maybe if I put it on too heavy too quick but there's just not a lot of shine to it I did buff it out afterwards with the Novus 3 and then the Novus 2 and then use the uh, Meguiar's number 26 wax on it. But just couldn't get a good shine. So if anybody has any tips on that for me, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll show you what I did on the bottom here. Not a whole lot to see on this, this little car, but... Kind of did... Did a little detailing on the bottom anyways, what was there. So, anyways, that was, that was my first attempt at a small 132nd scale. And it wasn't bad, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun for a quick build. Now I got a question for everybody. Let me set that aside here. I'm also a woodworker and been working with a scroll saw for about the last 10 years or so. And one of the products that I've used in woodworking is called Inlace. It's a liquid product that you can add to your, to your wood and then actually turn it on a lathe and gives you all kinds of, you know, like different effects and everything. Well, to this liquid Inlace, you can add 
this glitter that I have. Now my question is, can I add this glitter to paint and shoot it through my air gun onto a car? I thought maybe I might be able to get some cool effects using this. It's a really, really fine glitter, if I can open it here without dumping it. Let's see if I can get it to focus and show you here. But it's really, really fine. It doesn't look like it's going to focus too good. But that's the blue. But I didn't want to gum up my airbrush with this stuff, adding it to paint, and then uh, not being able to clean out my airbrush or something, or just having a big mess to, to clean out. That's the silver. You can kind of see it on my finger there a little bit when the, when the light hits it. But it, it's, a, it's a real fine, fine glitter. And I thought I might be able to get some cool effects with it. I've also got black. And it is available in quite a few other colors. These are just the, the four that I had from doing some woodworking with it a while back. And the violet, or purple. So, anyways, if anybody's had any experience with this, if you could uh, just comment below or uh, shoot me a PM or something and let me know, because I'd, I'd like to try this, but like I said, I don't want to mess up my airbrush either. So, anyways, that's what I have so far this week, and I did get my models in finally. And I'll make another video to show you which ones I've gotten. But uh, I will talk to you all soon, okay? Thank you very much. Hey, oh, one more quick thing before I leave. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I checked it last night, and I'm up to 22 subscribers, and... That, that is awesome. I can't believe it. With only having one video up, and I've gotten 22 subscribers already. This is a great, great community, and I'm really happy to be part of it. And I'm really looking forward to uh, making some more videos and seeing what you guys are doing and just having a lot of fun. And I talked to Caleb, and Caleb is excited about it also. We just got to get him another little snap together, and then we can get him on here, too. So, okay. Well, thank you much, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.